With their sparkling eyes and smiling faces, it's hard to tell these children are orphans who may never be adopted. At the last census that I read, Malawi has 14 or 15 million people from population countrywide. And at the last census, over 50% were under the age of 15. This is exactly why Hatter Jace Anderson is heading to Malawi to do what he can. Anderson first went to Bengala in March. The things he saw and people he met have prompted him to return in October. Malawi is on a power grid, shared power, the countrywide. And so in the, uh, in the evening, every night we ate by candlelight because when it gets dark in uh, the Longoy and Blantyre, the major urban centers, they turn their lights on and it cuts power to the rest of the country. The orphanage is home to 130 kids. It's providing an education and a chance at a future. In spring, Anderson brought over 700 pounds of medicine and supplies for the children, many donated by Medicine Hat residents. This time he's bringing something back to Canada. When I was in the markets in, uh, in Blantyre, I, I saw some really beautifully hand-carved, ornate uh, ebony or uh, rosewood pens, mm. 10 to 14 inches. The flute is all hand carved and the, the head of the pen would be uh, one of the big five animals, a rhino or a lion, an elephant, that sort of a thing. And the pen holds a big refill. So a big pen reinsert can slide inside. Anderson is charging $20 for the pens. The proceeds will go to the orphanage. He also wants to spread the word about his experience. When I was over and talking with Will and Pam about what, what their primary need was, they said, you know, Jace, when you're, when you're gone home, when you're done, uh, just be prepared and be willing to share what we're doing here. Mm 